Today we're playing a mod that pretty much completely changes the way we play BT6 as we know. It's called BT6 Rogue and it's made by Mend, so big shouts out to him. He also has his own YouTube channel where he covers this mod. And a couple other of his unique creations too, so uh, yeah, make sure to check it out. That being said, here's how it goes. So first off, let's select difficulty. This affects when balloons can spawn. Hmm. Now, I don't want to make it trivial, and I also don't want to do the hardest game mode, just in case it's because I don't know, you know, how it goes going into it. So I'll do it hard. And then this panel is just, uh, if you want all bosses, yeah, sure. Let's have all bosses in the game. Pick a hero. I will, uh, pick this one. And, uh, I think you just pick a certain amount of towers. Let's just do farm, uh, spike factory, and druid. So what should we expect in this mod? Well, first off, let me just loosely go over what a roguelike is in Wikipedia's terms. Basically, it's, it's defined by procedurally generated levels. Kind of like dungeon crawler style. Also, what is this? We got lore, or rather part of story mode in the game. Reality begins to distort. Very ominous, that's for sure, but anyways. Roguelike is defined by permadeath and uh, usually has some sort of element where you uh, get stronger along the way, like being able to unlock more things, uh, items, slash upgrades. Uh, and I guess that's why we are starting off with such a small arsenal of uh, towers and upgrades. So only one of each. Uh, um, it does look like you can get 5-5 five, five it, but I'm pretty sure from my brief testing of this that uh, they're capped at tier 2 once you get it for your initial purchases. So uh, here we go. Choose a path. None of these paths will ever show up again, so choose wisely. We have one reroll if we don't like any of these, but uh, this kind of sucks. We already kind of have two, two, two farms unlocked, so I don't know about going for farm, but these two kind of suck. I, I guess we'll just have to go for it. Yeah, when in doubt, always pick farms, as you see here. Max upgrades, you've already hit the cap. Can't go any higher than that. Now, I did say the five farms were 020, but I'm not sure if the next ones I drop will actually be restricted to 020. So I guess we can test. Here we go. And farm number two. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we kind of cheesed it a little bit. But I guess in the spirit of the mod, we will pretend like we are not allowed to go for that path. So we'll finish off 020 on this one only. Actually, I'll probably just upgrade this one to 220. I think I'm allowed to do that. There we go. And here we can see that the rounds are definitely random. Round 12 does not have this many yellows coming in. Neither does have Rico Blue. So it's kind of like... Kind of like Apocalypse, except obviously the rounds don't continuously spawn out. They do seem a little bit harder than what I normally experience in round 13. So I think it's after you beat this round. Every 10 rounds after round 5, you're allowed to unlock more towers. And it looks like, oh, I have a reroll. I guess I get a free reroll for every 10 rounds I make it, so that's nice. I don't like any of these because 002 Beast Handler isn't that great, so I'll use a reroll here. I mean, I guess so early on in the game, these towers barely even matter, or will do much late game, so we'll just do tack. Because again, bosses do spawn in, so... I think I'll just load up on, like, a single target damage. Keep farming in the meantime, of course. Also, round 17 just came in, what the hell? <laughs> this is definitely harder than the, uh... No more round 17, a bunch of black balloons, it's like... It's like these balloons are coming in 10 rounds earlier than they should be. I guess it's a good thing I got Sada then for the, uh, um... Solid early game. Should we go for... I'll do lightning. Lightning. Even more black loons. I guess the good thing is that we get a lot of money from this, along with the farms we're making. Also, whoa. Phase just ended the chat. I was, I was expecting a boss to spawn in, like, round 40, but... Um, not this round. Okay. Um, what towers? Wait, I don't have any camo except for Spike Factory. Well, I'm in danger. I guess the only thing I can do is a 220 Spike Ben. So, I guess I have to keep buying with selling along the way. Okay, and it looks like uh, if I have to beat phase on round 20. Oh, crap. Okay, I need to sell some towers then. Enough to at least afford multiple barber cells of a 120. Let's also use auto ability. I would assume it has the strength of a tier 1 normal phase, but that's just my guess. Looks like phase already dashed forward, so I think we got one skull through. Yeah, note to self definitely stock up on lots and lots and lots of. Uh, Boss spawn power. And it's random too, so we don't know what boss we're gonna get, like, every time we play this. Ideally, though, just to make sure all our bases are covered, we should get camo on those, um, single target damage towers, as well as, uh, um, stuff that pops lights for Dread Bloon. And, of course, different categories, because, yeah, of those Dread Bloon immunities. I think, uh, we're very close to getting the third dash. I'm hoping if phase turns here, it can, like, touch some spikes. Nope. Uh, I should have sold this earlier, that's okay. I'm not screwed because I can still place it, uh, 
in this last bend. I think I'm going to need to, right? <laughs> yep, I'm going to have to. If this doesn't work, then... F me. Oh, wait, you can't even place it here. You can fit small towers, but not spike factory as well. That's just fantastic, isn't it? Um, uh, Let's see if I can just continue this. Yeah, this doesn't reset all the money I lost by buying and reselling the spike all over again, but uh, I did get extra continue money, so... That's good. Hopefully we don't need to restart anymore after this. I wonder if it's worth it since the next um, platform is over here. If I could squeeze in, sell this farm so I can get some damage in here. I think that's what I gotta do. And then once it gets to the second last bend, I sell this platform and then put it up here. Yeah, I think that should definitely give us the win. I'll even lean this one a bit more left so more chance it lands on, you know, the side that base is gonna eat spikes on. So again... Keep saying solid ability and uh one more over here. I think that's the last last dash, so yeah, we're way ahead of pace here. Should be able to pop this and uh save. Be saved, nice. <laughs> and round 22, a feeling of death surrounds you. Again, very ominous. Uh I could go sell this spike factor to get more farms, but I think because they're so inefficient, like O2Os, they might not be worth it. So I'll just keep it around in case I need it for need, need a spike factor for certain rounds. We'll leave that one farm unused then, and let's see what we get after round 25 here. So we can do Let's of Gold for a bit of money. Arcane Blast or Bomb Race. I think I'll do Let's of Gold, because uh, I said so. And plus I have another uh, set of towers to choose from at 35, so... Luckily in the meantime we can enjoy a nice plus 50 and everything. Like, unfortunately what good is money when I don't have anything to spend upgrades on? I think that's the... Uh, Biggest problem we have at the moment. Looking back, I probably shouldn't have gone farms at all because I'm getting so much money from the uh, balloon spawns here. 11k around 30. This is this should kind of be illegal, especially all these leads coming in. I think from the creators' notes they mentioned this may not be uh, uber balanced, so just a warning. And yeah, I can definitely see <laughs> why that is the case, like money-wise. So I'm definitely going to keep that in mind the next time I play this, and I think I definitely should because this this mod definitely again leads to. A lot of replay replayability value, I feel like. As with, you know, anything that's randomly generated. Q random tower series right here. Could you imagine? This and random towers. Anyways, um... Any is any good against bosses? Only the, uh... Fire Boomerang. I'm gonna reroll. Right, I think the only thing you could do here is Bomb Shooter. Let's do it. I think one thing I've also noticed is that I can cross path the uh, towers. Even though it said... I was only allowed to pick a 020 or 030. Also, Mop spawned around 37. This is a bit premature. I will go ahead and drop another Alchemist here. Not for money, just literally to survive rounds. My goodness. It is getting scary. Yeah, holy, what is this? Round 38? Um, a bunch of... Uh, balloons here. I'm dead. Ripperoni, Ripperoni. Looks like we can continue. Uh, are the rounds the same again? Regardless, uh, let me just quickly get a bunch of... These tax 202s. Two and again, I've pretty much exhausted all of my possible upgrades. This one has to be a Let's Gold. Oh my god. <laughs> I told you this Druid back here was a bad idea with the creating Rio Farm. Uh, I think I'll have to quickly move it to the front then. And how about now? I guess I'll continue uh, resets your, your ability cooldowns. So having Sada there really helped. And, uh, please don't tell me I'm dead to camos. I don't think I'm gonna make it 120 rounds at this rate if uh, I'm not unlocking good towers. Because, uh, boss is gonna spawn Lich. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm super dead here. I don't know what to do. I had to resell them, so no more AMD. I think I bit a little bit more than I could chew with this game mode. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, all I can really do here is keep buying reselling the Druid. To try to save myself. <laughs> not even close. Okay. I have been defeated, it seems. Okay, we'll drop the difficulty down to a medium. Maybe that's a bit easier for us. And let's pick... What's a good tier 2 tower? Uh, definitely Super Monkey. I'll still do Spectre. Oh, and we're only allowed 2. Okay. I guess uh, the higher... The harder, the harder difficulty is, the uh, more towers you can choose. Got it. Okay, now we have the choice between these three. I'm gonna do the Super Monkey. Just ahead of time. And yeah, hopefully nothing stops us now. What do we have here? Uh, nothing really good, but I'll just pick the uh, quad darts, sure. I think we have our bases covered against every boss, except maybe uh, Dread Balloon. Because it's kind of expensive going for, um, what do you call it? Lead popping, especially on the Super Monkey. So let's see, Ledge, okay. That's fine. 
I think these towers should defend then. Let's buy... I'll buy larger range because, yeah, more... More ability to pop stuff. Who doesn't like that? Also, is, is this me or feel like... Uh, maybe the bosses, uh, because they spawn so early, uh, they have a, a lot less, uh, like, speed. Because that is moving at, like, a snail's pace. Even Lich itself. Alright, I think that's the final Lich phase, and uh, with that, we should be able to finish it off. Nice. EZ. So this one's a Pierce tile. I think for this one, uh, I guess since it's double damage, we should probably do 220 for it. A DPS, and then this one should be camo. Like a 202, so that we benefit better from the pierce, if you know what I mean. Just based on the money rolling in, you definitely want to pick, like, the strong towers. Now, hmm. I think for the balloon's sake, we'll do Arctic Wind, because you saw the balloons, like, they're pretty difficult, too. It's not just the bosses, which I thought were going to be the hardest part, but... No, they got hands, too. And let's see what we get for 35. Ooh, we got a Mib. Or I could do Flash Bomb or Peach Training. Yeah, there's no primary tower, so... Except for the Ice, but yeah, definitely Mib. I also think it's it's not a bug, but I guess you're allowed to cross path. It being called Zoo 3 Zoos, I guess it's just to denote the kind of upgrade I have unlocked. At least that's, again, what I'm assuming. Because so far, I haven't seen any, you know, upgrade choice that has had cross pathing in there. So it's probably just the label. So that being said, this is a great spot for the village. Uh, let's just go ahead and get camo too ahead of time so this guy can see it and the range helps too don't forget and we got lich again for around 40 okay and i don't know how much hp it has but with two super monkeys uh, i think there's a uh, no shot we lose here at least hopefully i'll just set everything to strong for now including sada and let's see uh, skull number one is hit looks like lich's soul and lich itself is still really really slow so in our second game, I think we've uh, cracked the code to trying to beat BG6 Rogue. That is just picking the most expensive towers. And after this, we should have beaten it Lich. Nice. Oh, also we have a hero. Interesting. Well, I did say I want damage, so let's do Churchill. Hopefully we still get a uh, tower choice of 45. I would assume so. Also, I'm pretty sure heroes still split XP. I guess I can drop Churchill down just to test for now. Let's see after 41 here. Yeah, only a half half level, so it does split XP. We'll go ahead and get Churchill after, you know, we finish getting level 20 Sada. Speaking of which, I guess that's where the money could go in power leveling, although it's not very efficient, obviously. Think of it as, like, a last-ditch effort, I guess. So, uh, let's see. Uh, we can do uh, a reactor, five Sabos, or just one Spike Mines. We're gonna do Spike Mines. Spike Mines, good. And it's not just one Spike Mines to get, but it's two, because... I already had, you know, one spike from the start of the game, so I think I can turn that into spike mines too. That's allowed. You know, the way this is going, I actually probably shouldn't have decreased difficulty and just pick super monkeys because they, they just perform so much better. As for the difference between the difficulties, I would have to assume the balloons are, or the bosses, move a little bit slower. A single plasma goes a long way. Uh, we can now do balloon trap for income. Nope. Two arcane spikes or a sniper. I'll do two arcane spikes. I think we'll only reroll if uh, any tower we get, any of the three choices, like, all suck against bosses. And now, round 60, another Lich. Okay, I can't tell if this is just, uh, really lucky slash unlucky, or, uh, I don't know. Because there's, there's, I guess it's not, like, too unlikely. 1 in 25 chance that you end up getting the same three bosses, because uh, they are currently five to choose from. I would have to assume this is, like, a tier 2 normal Lich, just based on how it's going. Yeah, we, we got this easy. The freshly dropped Arcane Spikes are putting in good work, and uh, goodbye to Lich. And it looks like after 65, we have our new choice of uh, Tier 5 Towers. So, uh, one Permacharge, two Inferno Rings. You bet your ass I'm doing two Inferno Rings. Can I actually do two Inferno Rings, or is it just two tax shooters? Well, let me just buy it first. I'll use the discount to save some monies, and uh, no, I can't go for two, okay. It just gets to be two tanks in general, though. Which is nice and all, but, yeah. Not really gonna do too much. I think if you want... Yeah, boss damage, definitely go 5-2-0. And now it does 1,000. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. This is the Pierce upgrade. I'm stupid. I'm gonna lose a lot of money doing that, but yeah, you want this one. <laughs> for the 1,000 damage, that is 700. We got a little bit too much of a money boost, uh, I think, in that early game there. So, and more tier 5s. You want Sky Shorter, Brittle, or Superstorm? Uh, as much as... Uh, Sky Shredder is cool. I think this will be better in the long run. Because I'll probably get, like, you know, more tier 5s on 85 and 95. 
And I'll just pick stuff that, you know, pairs well with the... Uh, the thingy. The super brittle. Here comes the UMGs. Four rounds earlier than usual. Okay, and this has to be... Uh, this cannot be a coincidence. Or if it did, we just got the... Uh, 1 in 125 chance. Another Lich. Surely this can't be a bug, because the first time I played it on the harder mode, I got um, two different bosses. But we can definitely confirm it if the next two bosses are going to be a Lich, because there's, there's no way. There's no way the luck will lean that badly, right? We'll do Quincy. No, no, Adora. Adora is good, because I have a lot of money to sacrifice and power level her to uh, level 20. If I decide to want to use her, of course. Alright, and now for 85. Oh my god, I could double dip in the plus damage. Should I? You know what? Screw it. Again, I do have rerolls. I do have rerolls if I decide to uh, need something. Our Super Bank is definitely going to have some beefy damage, that's for sure. And hey, look at this. We have uh, Paragons to choose from now. Now, does this unlock three darts for us? Let me just try the cheapest. It does. Cool. And that means I can get 5-5 five, five anything, right? Oh, I can. Wow. Huh. Well, I guess I should have farmed if I want to go for it, but oh well. Assuming they're not going to throw us tier 5 elite bosses... Uh, we should be okay without Paragons, seeing as Lich has been normal normal difficulty so far. And I guess knowing that, I probably should have picked the other towers, because you get tier 5s of all of them, so... Uh, I guess I would have picked... Would I have picked a Wizard or a Ninja? Well, it's too late. Uh, let's see. I don't think either of these are good enough. I know First Strike exists, but I could use more than one of them. And okay, we got mad. We're, we're picking mad, for sure. <laughs> no doubt about it. It doesn't fit well with the Super Brittle plus the Loose Storm, but... It's a no-brainer. Now, maybe I shouldn't have avoided farms entirely, because uh, I actually can't afford Matt. Also, okay, this is definitely, like, a bug. Again, either that or a 1 in 600 chance, but I, I don't believe it. I don't believe one can get that unlucky. We're gonna try to see, this, see if we can beat this without using uh, the Matt, by the way, because it seems pretty good. If we already uh, popped the uh, Lich Soul here... Oh, wait. DDTs have got hands. Uh, let me pause. Okay, yeah, I need it, uh, quickly. Uh, I would sell the Inferno Ring for it, right? I think so, I think so. Actually, we should be fine, because it's just a chain. It was a chain DDTs that were, like, super fast and super beefy, but... Yeah, okay, the life draining isn't too bad. This wouldn't have been dangerous if the round kept continuing while the boss was on the screen, but... Looks like we have to beat Lich before the uh, rounds keep going. And, yeah, this should be uh, another easy kill, and probably will give us a... Tier 5 Normal Lich, it seems. And honestly, it didn't even feel like Tier 4 Normal Lich HP, actually. Because I think Tier 4 Normal Lich has uh, 700? 500k HP? Something like that. Close enough. By the way, it, de it is definitely worth it to uh, sell some towers for the Mad. If I need to, because yeah, I... Uh, <laughs> I ain't making anything here, and these balloons are... Uh, really getting feisty on us. Oh, so we got level 20 Goddess Auto now, so let's get... Churchill down somewhere. She leveled up to level 20 like a couple rounds ago, so I missed out on some hero XP. That's okay, right. Uh, Elite Defender, for sure. And the randomly generated rounds were pretty hard in the first, like, couple rounds, but I feel like for free play here, it's actually easier than what what the, you know, predetermined rounds are. Because I'm seeing, like, rainbows come in <laughs> this round. Yes, guys, the ever-so-deadly round 108 rainbows. How could anybody defend those things? We have zebras, as you see. Yep. <laughs> Super dangerous, guys. I'm... I'm shaking in my boots right now. Here comes a round 113 bad, and here's where I think I might need mad. Actually, I still have Sada's level 10 ability, Sword Charge, so... I think there's still a, a lot of wiggle room before we actually die. Yeah, we should be good here. Okay, last uh, choice. I think it's a no-brainer with four subs. We'll definitely do Sub Commander, so we can uh, get three other AP darts if I wanted it, but I don't think I'm gonna go for that. And yeah, let's get ready here. The final round. Uh, round 120 has spawned out. Okay. I guess we really did get unlucky, did we? Holy crap. We actually got the 100, 1 in 600 chance of getting 5 liches in a row. What are the odds of that? Again, it's 5 things spawned for because I'm saying if it's like a chance of 5 of the same boss spawning in the first 5 tiers. So if we're talking about the chances of only lich spawning, then it's like 1 in 3,000. Even crazier, anyways. So I think we'll sell now. Uh, yep. Mad. Because the, uh, the Inferno Ring can't damage it, obviously. I'm also $40 short of focus firing. And wait, what just happened? Uh, Dread Balloon's dead. Okay, I guess it's not Tier 5 Dread Balloon, at least for this medium mode here. <laughs> it, 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 it must have been Tier 1 Dread Balloon. 
Anyways, GG's, and I think we can actually keep going. It seems with this roguelike. I guess we'll just see. But by all accounts, we have won. GG, easy. I guess we might as well keep going, because I guess these rounds are, are giving us fortified f pads. Yeah, these are actually uh, scarier than the bosses. And it's not even close. And let's see if we have another choice of towers after 125 here. Yes, we do. Okay, I guess <laughs> I guess we'll keep going. I think we'll go ahead and do a Sentry Champion here, because it, it, it synergizes better with the Glue Storm. I never ended up getting the Super Riddle, because I guess lack of money. I'll sell this also. Okay, this f pad might be a struggle to beat. I probably have to use Sword of, Sword of Sword Charge, right? Yep. Sword Charge? Nope. I'm dead. Alright, one last go with this, because I guess it's a little bit unfair to continue and get extra money along with that. And I guess also by that definition of a broke like being quote-unquote permadeath, uh, I should have died by now. But let me just see if I can beat this bad here and uh, hopefully call it a day. We'll use level 20 Churchill. Uh, and Sword of Sword Charge now. Go, 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 go. Nice. We beat it. Anyways, if you made it this far, then thank you for watching. Again, thanks to Men, the creator of this mod, for a very interesting uh, gameplay experience. I'm actually kind of interested to see if I can beat the harder game modes that are out there, but for now, I'll leave you at that. Let me know your thoughts on this, and I'll see you next time.